Welcome to the Q&A portion of the Telecommunications and Network Security OSI model. I am Liz von der Heiden. Question number one. In the OSI model, encryption and data compression are done at which layer? The answer is B. Encryption and data compression are done at the presentation layer. This ensures the security of the data as it travels down the protocol stack. For example, one of the most popular en encryption scheme that is usually associated with the presentation layer is the secure socket layer, SSL protocol. Question number two, the physical layer of the OSI model correspond to which of the following TCP IP layers? The answer is D, the network access layer. The physical layer is special compared to the other layers of the model because it is the only one where data is physically moved across the network interface. All of the other layers perform useful functions to create messages to be sent but they must all be transmitted down the protocol stack to the physical layer where they're actually sent out over the network. Question number three. In the OSI model, which layer sets up, maintains, and breaks down the dialogue session between two applications? The answer is the session layer. The session layer provides the mechanism for opening, closing, and managing a session between end user application processes. Communication sessions consist of requests and responses that occur between applications. So think of it like a telephone call. The session layer responds to service requests from the presentation layer and issues service requests to the transport layer. Question number four, which protocol is used to facilitate file and directory transfer between two machines? The answer is A, FTP, File Transfer Protocol. It is a standard network protocol used to copy a file from one host to another over a TCP-based network, such as the internet. FTP is built on a client-server architecture and utilizes separate control and data connections between the client and server. It works at the application layer, layer 7 of the OSI model. Question number 5. Which of the following is a connectionless communication and does not guarantee packet delivery between transfer points? The answer is A, UDP, and UDP stands for User Data Proto Datagram Protocol. With UDP, computer applications can send messages, in this case referred to as datagrams, to other hosts on an internet protocol network without requiring prior communications to set up special transmission channels. UDP uses a simple transmission model without implicit handshaking dialogues for providing reliability, ordering, or data integrity. UDP provides an unreliable service and datagrams may arrive out of order or missing without notice. Uh, so UDP assumes that error checking and correction is either not necessary and it also avoids the overhead of such processing at the network interface level. If error correction facilities are needed at the network interface layer, an application may use the transmission control, control protocol, which is also known as the TCP. Question number six, to establish a connection, what type of handshake does TCP employs?
The answer is number three. TCP employs the SYN, SYN ACK, and the ACK handshake. So TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. It is a connection-oriented protocol that provides reliable communication using handshaking, acknowledging, acknowledging error detection, and session teardown. TCP uses a three-way handshake, which acts in and the app. Both the client and servers have received an acknowledgement of the connection. Question number seven. Which protocol does not belong in the application layer of the OSI model? Is it FTP, DNS, HTTP, or SLIP? The answer is D. SLIP and it stands for Serial Line Internet Protocol and works at the data link layer of the OSI model. All the other protocols work at the application layer. Number eight, which protocol makes the best effort at delivery? Is it the IP, the IPX, the UDP, or the TCP? The answer is IP, short for Internet Protocol. The IP is the principal communications protocol used to relying datagrams across an Internet work using the IP protocol, responsible for routing package across network boundaries. It is the primary protocol that establishes the Internet. Question number nine. Which protocol provides diagnostic feedback and reports logical errors? Is it the ICMP, SMTP, SNMP, or the HTTP? The answer is A, ICMP, and it, it is short for Internet Control Message Protocol. And one of the most common types of ICMP is a ping. ICMP relies on IP to perform its tasks and it is an important part of IP. ICMP is one of the core protocols of IP suite. It is chiefly used by operating systems of network computers to send error messages such as indicating that a requested service is not available or that a host or router could not be reached. ICMP can also be used to relay query messages. And the last question is question number 10. ARP's purpose is to enable devices that know their MAC address to find their IP addresses. B, resolves addressing between the transport and network layer. C. Resolve known IP addresses to unknown physical address. And D. Ensures packets are delivered to the destination computer. The answer is C. ARP's purpose is to resolve known IP addresses to unknown physical addresses. ARP is short for Address Resolution Protocol. It is a computer networking protocol for determining a network's host link layer or hardware address when only its IP or network layer address is known. The function is critical in local area networking as well as for routing traffic across gateways based on IP addresses when the next hub router must be determined. This concludes the question and answer portion of the telecommunications and network security. For more videos and questions and answers, please visit us at levo.group. Thank you very much for listening.